G'day. If you're watching this, I'm assuming you've just uh, accidentally damaged the flex cable or the screen sensor cable on your MacBook A2681. And if you're getting no image, I'm going to hold this on a weird angle to hide the customer's name. But if I close this now, keep closing. Almost closed. And we're off. If I open this back up slightly. We are on. Also, the other thing I discovered was when I accidentally tore my cable, the keyboard wouldn't type. I couldn't type because I didn't know that the screen was open, nor would the trackpad come on. So that was an interesting one. Now, what am I getting at here? So right now, if I unplug the power cable so I don't damage anything, I've currently got a replacement flex cable on there, but I have, or sensor cable, but I have replaced the chip. I've used a quick, 861DW and I was able to heat it up at 300 degrees Celsius and I bought two of these one in case the initial swap failed or if I accidentally fried the chip I've lost where the cable my original cable was but during the screen swap when I was swapping the cable over initially I didn't fold it up and unscrew the screw I just tried to lever it up and I tore along here and damaged the capacitor but looking at these chips, they are a relatively simple 12 pin uh, cable. Four on one side, four on one, three and three. Now what's that, 14? No, yes, 14, not 12. And I was just able to simply unsolder it, lift it off. And because it's got aftermarket solder on the, on the replacement ones that I've purchased, I didn't have to re-ball anything, didn't have to do anything special. All I did was heat it up and drop the chip on, give it a little nudge and put some flux on it and it sold it itself and luckily that has succeeded and is going now. It might be hard to tell with the camera. If I try and zoom in. Nope. No. My camera doesn't want to go that close. Looking along here, I've got the replacement chip. And it is working. So if you do accidentally tear this cable and you are handy with a hot air gun. Soldering iron is absolutely useless. Don't bother attempting it with a soldering iron. You're just gonna damage more things. If you've got a hot air station, or know someone that does, that knows how to use move a chip, they should be able to achieve transferring that chip from the old to the new, and then that will completely bypass the need to program it. So I'm pretty sure the rest of this chip is just capacitors, and it's mainly this chip here that is of concern. The rest of it, there's really nothing on there of great importance that, that looks special. So yeah, the initial floor I had was I swapped the screen over and I had no, no display or intermittent display. The display would barely function. It's like the screen was faulty, which it all came back to this. So with that now being repaired, I'll be pretty happy to proceed and finish up the rest of the install. Did have me worried for a bit but it is, should be fixable, should be achievable. As long as you haven't damaged or lost the chip that's on the end of the cable, on your original one, you don't want to lose that. That is program impaired to your MacBook. If you've torn this cable, I don't know what happens if I do actually stick a replacement one in. I'm assuming it doesn't, it either always stays on or always stays off, I'm not sure due to the anti-consumer or anti-repair nature of this device, they require it to be programmed. But we can bypass the programming by moving the chip. Well, hopefully that gives you some ideas and some reassurance that that brand new screen you just put on may not be faulty. That will do for today, and I'll see you later. Bye.